All right, we're here with um, head coach Patrick Tatum, um, coach Brock McMaster. Um, it's always a great battle, and I don't think uh, tonight was any different. Um, let's start off with your thoughts on tonight's game. Uh, great energy from our guys. They played hard as can be. Uh, I mean, this is a rivalry game for us. Uh, they competed 40 minutes, and uh, I mean, we, we gave up some points in the first half and had a way better second half defensively, but uh, just couldn't find the bottom of the cup from three, so uh, it hindered us a little bit, but still proud of their uh, effort tonight. So it's no secret that um, it's a pretty physical Brock team on that other side yeah. there. Um, and I think they played you guys pretty strong for the most part you held with them. Um, what is the key to shutting down a team like that for you guys? You, you got to be able to match the physicality, uh, especially on the glass or in the half court. They're so physical to the point where, like, they killed us on the glass tonight. Uh, the rebounding battle was everything. And uh, to be honest with you, that, that that is the Achilles heel for our team currently right now, whether it's Queens, Ottawa, Carleton. Um, those all the games that we've been losing are games won or lost on the glass. So uh, we didn't match the physicality today and uh, like, bit us in the butt. You know what? To to be honest with you, if we if we made a couple of those threes that we took, I think the the, the rebounding numbers would be way different. Uh, I think a lot of times teams feed off of made baskets, um, and we competed on the defensive end. But sometimes it's just a little deflating when you're missing three after three after three, and uh, that that starts to uh, wear and tear on you defensively. So um, if we made a couple more threes, then it probably would be a different game. Yeah, they took care of the ball. They really did take care of the ball. I forgot, I forget what, how many turnovers they had at halftime, but I think they were only at like five turnovers at halftime. They finished the game with eight turnovers, right? So they only turned it over three times in the second half. Did a really good job just kind of executing and getting the ball where they wanted to. Uh, we held them to 24 points, which is great. I'm, I'm ex like absolutely excited about that. To hold that team to 24 points in the second half is really good. I just, again, a couple of shots didn't fall down for us and uh, um, the, the defensive glass hindered us a little bit. So it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, in game, we just try to hopefully focus on getting the guys to really uh, trust the shot. But if it's not falling, then put a little bit of pressure on the paint, put a little pressure on the rim uh, and potentially play at the free throw line. So just drawing fouls and, uh, and making some free throws. I, I don't even know if we got really that many free throws in the second half. Fourth quarter, it says we only got uh, two free throws. Uh, third quarter, we got zero. So uh, I think we settled a little bit more from the three. And uh, it's tough. It's tough because we got some really good wide open looks. But uh, it's hard to adjust in, in game in, in the heat of the moment. Uh, it's, it's tough. Coach, eight blocks, 11 rebounds, Will Miller. Um, Talk a little bit about the, the spark that he's brought kind of the, uh, the big game for you so far this season. Yeah, Khalil's been amazing. I think uh, he's he's now uh, garnered a name for himself as a shot blocker in this league. And uh, to have 8-8-11 eight, eight and 11 is really impressive. And he brings so much to our defense, right? That, that, that our, our numbers defensively weren't as good as they are right now. And I think... He is at the front of that by protecting the rim or altering shots for us. And uh, without him, it'd be a different story. So we're grateful we have him right now, but we just got to kind of continue to be a little better offensively and, and uh, find our groove at some point, and, and it'll come. Finally, basketball game is a, uh, a game of momentum. Um, what do you guys need to do to, uh, to gain some steam here as we head into the final two weeks before the holiday break? 
Yeah, you know what? We got we to gotta try to win. Uh, uh, I don't know. We got to get two out of the next four. Uh, hopefully three out of the next four. So we're looking to try to get a split minimum up in Thunder Bay. It'd be great to go away with two wins up there, but it, it's tough. The Thunder Bowl or Thunderdome, I think it is. It's a tough place to go and play basketball. And uh, Lakehead's got it going right now, beating Ottawa last night and potentially potentially getting Laurier tonight. So it's going to be tough, but I do think that we can come back home and take care of some business against Guelph and York. So um, as long as we can go into the break with two wins in a row, I think that'll be really good for us. All right, guys. Thanks. All right, uh, we're here with uh, Mike Demagus. Mike, um, obviously not the result you guys were looking for, but I thought you guys played really hard um, all yeah. night long. Um, let's just get your thoughts on what you saw from, from Brock on film versus what they brought tonight. Um, you know, we had a game plan for them. They're all a bunch of shooters. Um, fortunately, they, they hit a couple jump shots, uh, a couple threes, a couple mid, mid-range jump shots. So, uh, to be honest, they were, they were, our coaching staff did a great job on the film. Um, they just did a better job hitting the shots that they're supposed to hit. That's really it. Now, it seemed like you guys, for the most part, were getting uh, your fair share of open looks tonight, but obviously they, uh, they weren't dropping when you needed them to. Yeah. Um, what is the key to finding consistency and if those shots aren't dropping, like how do you move beyond that? Um, well, a lot of it comes from practice, you know, getting extra reps up, but I just think you know, in the flow of the game, you know, we just got to attack the basket more and the shots will fall after we continue to, you know, be aggressive and then kick it out, find the open teammates and then just really just practice. If you, if you just get open shots up, I think we'll, we'll change the way we're shooting. We'll, change, we'll get out of this slump. And uh, obviously this is um, your first couple of, well, this the first year in a while where the, the crowd has been as... Uh, yeah vibrant as they have been. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, you had that big dunk there in the third quarter. Um, talk about what kind of energy it brings for you and your teammates when Bird is rocking like a Western man. We got a, we got a great fan base. Um, when they when they get excited, we get excited. You know, they bring the energy for us. You know, we, we got 12 guys that play, but everyone else involved, the teams, the team, our teammates that don't dress, the fans, the coaching staff, they all bring the energy for us. So when we hear Burge and all our fans and all our friends cheering for us, you know, we just get that extra boost of energy that we need in order to, you know, close out games. Um, I guess just in terms of, um, you know, just in, in the talking about the two teams that we got into one of those trends where it's like, you lose the battle, lose the game, and battle, win the game. It's good against Brock, I guess, kind of. Like, what do you do kind of was kind of the big thing you guys could have could have done better, I guess, in terms of like rebounding or? Uh, yeah, well, you know, we, we knew they were, a, they were a good shooting team. And, you know, a lot of times we get, we, we forget that, you know, long shots equal long rebounds. And so in the end of the game, I think they got like four offensive rebounds, all long shots that we expected them to shoot. And, you know, just whenever we don't box out, you know, it just, it just bites us in the rear. So unfortunately, we, we just couldn't get the job done, and a lot of it came on the defensive end, um, defensive glass. Yeah, and then your, your big dunk there in the second quarter. Yeah. Walk me through kind of how that unfolded and the reaction kind of. I mean, just throughout the game, you know, I'm just my job is to score the ball, and you know, I just I just felt like that was the best opportunity, and you know, I got to go up strong. I know these guys are a big physical team, so you know, I just have to go up strong and finish and get and get, and get the two points. Yeah, you know, it's it's good for us to get the good teams out the way because you know, it only gets harder. Like every team, every team's gonna put up a fight from the worst to the best team. Every team is gonna come at us. You know, we have we have a we have a we have a target on our backs. We know that regardless of the record, every team wants to beat McMaster. So you know, every game is a test for us. Every game is a learning experience. And as long as you know, you just stick to get stick to the game plan, stick together. I feel like we should be good for the year. Thank you. All right, thank you.